Thailand. Uh, corruption. Uh, problems with monarchy. Time for change. And you go, you go there. I will go, and I will probably be put in prison when they see this. <laughs> after, yeah, after seeing that, I've said many things, but you know, yeah. But no, I mean, no, I would say the institutions have to change. That's a basic idea. And you have you have a Thailand passport? Yes, I have a Thai passport. USA. Corrupt. <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, really uh, frightening and um, a lot of, uh, how should I say, it's like, it's, there's, it's time for, I mean, it's really, uh, it's a really turbulent time and it will be turbulent for everyone if this continues. But uh, your exhibition at Chantal Cruzel Gallery is about America, obviously. It is, and it is, of course, I, I mean, I would say yes, it is, and it's because that's the environment I'm existing in. And it's, I mean, but even that environment is also like, you know, it's affecting everyone. <clears throat> but, you know, it, it's very close, uh, I mean, to feeling like that there is going to be a civil war. Ah oh, really? Yes. And you you are in New York? <clears throat> I am outside of New York, but yes, mainly New York. But but no, but just like the sense of the feeling of people, the extremism on both sides actually, uh, you know, in terms of like there is there's there's only your side and my side. I mean, you know, there's no in between. And that's happened in Thailand. As I mean, already for more than 10 years. Mm. Political art. <laughs> um, needs to be more poetic. But the political art needs to be poetic? More poetic than, Mo po you know, I mean, I'm saying that. Um, you know, like as an idea, it, it's important, but I think it needs to be more poetic. Why? Um, because uh, not, you know, like pounding a hammer on a nail's head is not always poetic. It can be, it can be even Well, I mean, not, I'm sorry, that's why I said not always. Okay, so you try to, to do poetry? Um, I know I try to make, hopefully, I mean, it's kind of, I mean, you know, I don't like to speak about myself really, but I, I know I would like to make consciousness. And I think that, um, and I don't, you know, and I think consciousness can be made through many different ways, but uh, I would say poetically would be a beautiful way to do it. What about the power of words? Um, yeah, words mean something. And I think we, um, well, I'm speaking contextually more, let's say, in the US. I feel that words have lost, um, has lost its poetry, you know. And so I think that um, a language, because, and I also, because, and I would say that it also has a lot to do with the kind of the idea of social media and also the idea of oversaturation of information mm. that uh, we forgot beautiful words. But isn't it a danger to add some words in this forest of words? Um, well, I mean, in the forest of signs, I hope that the sign, you know, I mean, I like to make it trip you for different reasons. Um, and I hope that the words aren't, I mean, they're not, I think they are more open than close, you know? They are not, um, I mean, they can be read and they can uh, perform perhaps like somersaults. <laughs> 
No, but we can see that, for example, now if you go to the supermarket, you can buy a cup where it's written cup on it. <laughs> so, uh, all this idea of using words for everything is everywhere in the house, even in private house. That's the fault of conceptual art. <laughs> which really, which really did a lot of work. So, isn't it, isn't there too much words? Too too much words? Um, no, I, I I mean I think there are too many not interesting words. Uh. I think I mean and that goes back to like the thing about poetry. Um, but I also want to say that it's also we and maybe it's not words. Maybe it's like ideas or like uh, details, you know, of things. So like, we we talk about everything, but we don't talk about the shadow, you know? Mm. Jasper Jones. Jasper Jones. Jasper Jones. Um, Duchamp. <laughs> <laughs> um, but but uh, I think like, I'm, I'm you know, I would say I'm interested in the form or let's say the uh, information, you know? And I think, I mean, in a way, of course it's a ready-made. I mean, he's using a ready-made and I'm using a ready-made he made. <laughs> ready, ready-made. But what, what, why after all uh, Jasper Jones more than uh, Rauschenberg? Oh, because, well, I mean, you know, because he did a series of, well, you know, it is kind of in between a kind of like, you know, a ready-made and a pop object, right? Something that is very familiar to you that we know, so flags or the map, you know. Um, I mean, so it's like using something we all know. You but know? you think he's a great master or you are just using an object which is well known? I mean, I... I for me, I think it's, of course, it's kind of like referencing my own sphere, which is to address the art. Um, but also at the same time, I think it addresses like what I would like to address, which is the place. What does it mean? The place? The place that is now like in turbulence, you know. And and again, like I was saying, and that turbulence or that, yeah, that it is is you know it will flutter across everywhere. Marble. Marble. Um, water. <laughs> um, well, um, you know, I've used material to in a way to like, I would like to say like, it's more, uh, I want to use my, like a particular kind of marble to like make things like, you know, become invisible or a ghost. Uh, really? Mm. Because you were, your work was so dematerialized mm -hmm. and suddenly it's heavy material and there's also tapestry, which is something about luxury too. Yeah, and old, yeah, and craft. I uh, know, I mean, I, I, you know, I, I, I'm not kind of obliged to, like, you know, I'm more obliged to the idea than to, like, material, you know. Mm. Um, so, but I, I think, like, I mean, it's between, like, um, tapestry, you know, and gravestones, you know. It's about death? It's about failure. You know, or or it's about like you know, you know where we are going. But it's uh, about also a luxury bathroom, <laughs> marble. Yeah, well, I kind of see it more like external. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I see it as like something that would stand there for a long time outside in the rain. Ah, you okay. See? I mean, so I literally see them as tombstones and stones that will be outside. And it's a tomb of uh, America? It's a tomb of, like, you know, our present. Food. 
Food uh, is necessi necessary. <laughs> um, yeah, it's basic. Not only. I mean, it's uh, it's something we all share. And that's something you want to share, right? It's something I want people to share. But you organize some food sharing. Yeah, I mean, I'm more like a I'm more like a carpet you can walk on. Really? I yeah, I'm like you know, like Carl Andre metal plates on the floor you can walk on. But it's with rice. Well, yes, it's kind of like, but you don't realize that you're walking on it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's important to organize this kind of event to um, share food, even in a fair, for example. Well, I think it's again like um, you know, I think it's about like um, expectation or or a kind of tripping the expectation. Uh, but also at the same time within the structure itself, you know. But is it poetry? Um, I th I would like that it be found by the you know the audience. But when when you look at people around you, you you give some some food. And you look at people around you. You did it once also at Grand Palais, I remember. <laughs> yes. And it was huge. Yeah? Soup, yeah, soup. And so you get this soup. <clears throat> you were looking at people around, and what was your feeling? Um, I, I'm, you know, again, like I'm like the carpet. I feel like if it was useful, I feel like I'm useful. You know. Um, if it was useful, and useful can be in many different ways. It could be poetic, it could be fulfilling. Art. Hmm? It could be art. It could always be art. Everything is art or not art? Everything could be art. But not everything is art. <laughs> Depending on your glasses. Uh, I think, no, I think it's like, I always think it depends on the perspective or, you know, it depends on, and I, I mean, and that, I mean, I mean that by the individual experiencing it. The news. The what? The news. The news. Um... The news is uh, trying hard to be what it is, but it's it's uh, evolve. <laughs> um, Do you read a lot the news? I read a lot the news. I read a lot of different news, and I read I read. I mean, it's hard to watch Fox News, but I do watch it. Oh wow! Yeah, I do get like you know information from both sides. Um, you, you speak a lot about both sides. Yeah, because you need to understand everyone in order to... But what is both sides? Both sides means like, you know, both sides of like the aisle, or both sides of the opinion, or both sides of like the perspective, or both sides of the world. But you don't feel uh, overwhelmed by, by all these Disgusting news? Um, I don't know if it's overwhelming. I mean, it's, it's, it's not so much overwhelmed by the information. I'm overwhelmed by the reception. Uh. You know, how people receive it, how they use it, what they do with it, how they form themselves into it is overwhelming. What is your next dream? <laughs> I usually don't dream. At all? Usually. No, you know, like, I, I only, in my perfect condition, I only sleep five hours. Mm -hmm. So I never, so I never sleep to the point where you dream. <laughs> or where you remember you have dreamt. Yeah, you know. Um, 
But uh, coming back to the show you were talking about, I, I, I dream of um, making something that doesn't exist, you know, and maybe it only can exist in words. Mm. They matter realized. Yes, I mean, or the materiality is within each of us. So, you know, we have our experiences and we see, I mean, we, when we read the word, those words, we see the thing through our own experience. Merci, monsieur. Merci.